this is Jess and welcome to Jess Style Home. For today's episode, I'm going to share the 5 things that I regret buying for our home. mass-produced painting that I bought from Andawe Foam. Don't get me wrong, not all mass-produced paintings are bad. In fact, I also have some mass-produced paintings that I still use um, in our home. But this particular painting, it's not actually technically a painting because it was not painted, it was not hand-painted, it was digitally printed, not even on a canvas but on a tarpaulin which made it look even cheaper. I bought this painting because uh, I wanted something to cover a nice, an unsightly corner in our home. When we transfer to, uh, to our home, there are unfinished uh, corners and we were rushing. We have this uh, blessing, house blessing, and then I wanted to cover it because it's so It served naman its purpose for that specific day. Um, but after that, hindi ko na siya hinang, hindi ko na siya ginamit because, yeah, it looks so cheaply done. Kasi nga, nasa tarpaulin, tapos yun, print lang siya. So yes, I regret buying that kasi, um, yes, it was cheap, it was inexpensive. I think uh, less than 1,000 yung binayad ko for that one. Pero sayang pa rin, yung mga totoong painting, they, are, they can be costly. But it doesn't mean naman that they, it's not worth it. I mean, um, in painting kasi talaga is my artistic value and usually it's the artist. It's subjective to the artist. Yung artist yung nagdidictate ng value nito. We can never question its value um, because it's a work of art. So yes, um, but if you're not ready to make an investment for um, painting, then yeah, um, mass-produced painting on highly textured canvas would do. You can commission yung mga um, independent uh, artists, local artists. We have a lot. Whenever we go to Bago, meron dun sa si street that they sell mga paintings uh, made by mga local artists. So sometimes bumibili rin ako dun. Also, yung mga malls, sometimes yung mga exhibits sila selling yung mga paintings of individual or independent artists. Yun, um, I also buy some works of those um, independent artists. Also up to buy paintings na vintage. Uh, you can find really good quality paintings uh, sa mga antique shops or even Japan surplus meron doon. And also another options would be yung sarili mong uh, photographs, mga landscapes or any artistic na na photography that you can uh, print, have it printed and this uh, lagay sa mga magagandang uh, frames then that can also be used as your wall art for your home. But never ever buy mga cheaply made mass-produced paintings. Number two item that I regret buying for our home would be table lamp shade. So, wait. Kukunin ko lang. This is the love shade that I regret buying. I also got this from Mandawe Foam. It's big. It's, yeah, it's a table lamp shade. And it is heavy because it is made of marble. Ayan. Ang bigat niya talaga. So, yun. And meron siyang this brass pad here. And ito, yung kanyang uh, shade or cover. So, I don't know, um, I, really, I never use this actually sa bahay namin because um, I tried placing it sa room namin and it doesn't look good. And then I, I tried uh, placing it sa, uh, sa living room namin. Hindi pa rin siya maganda tingnan. And then um, even sa console table namin, I tried displaying this. And again, it doesn't look good anywhere I place it. So, yeah, I regret buying this. Medyo expensive pa naman to. Um, and, I don't know, siguro um, sa bahay lang namin kasi parang hindi siya bagay. Pero it's white naman. This is made of uh, 
linen. This is made of fabric, yung kanyang shade, or yung kanyang cover. And then this one, yung gold brass niya. Maganda naman yung pagkagawa. Yeah, I think yung lampshade na ganito may binabagayan na bahay. Unfortunately, for our home, hindi siya bagay. So, I really regret buying this one. So, yeah, I think, um, I don't know kung if ever I replace this cover or this shade with something else, um, baka bumagay siya. The item that I regret buying for home is our shaggy carpet. When I bought this particular carpet, I was so in love with it kasi nga, it is the perfect color for my space kasi bumabagay siya. So, the sa nabili kong throw pillow and then I so love its color and even yung texture niya, maganda rin siya. It is so smooth. Pero eventually, hindi ko siya nagugustuhan because of its dimension. It makes this space uh, look even smaller kasi nga maliit lang siya. Its size is 30 inches by 60 inches. So, it's a small carpet. Supposedly, a carpet, ang pinakang purpose ng carpet really is to ground this space. So, it should be big enough to cover the entire space. Whether it's your dining area or your living room or your bedroom, dapat malaki or malawak siya to cover or to ground this space. But this particular carpet, masyado siyang maliit. So, when you buy a carpet, make sure that you buy the biggest one that you can afford. So, not just because maganda yung texture or maganda yung feel ng carpet and mura siya, bibilhin mo na sayang lang. Sayang lang yung pera. The number four item that I regret buying for home is this faux fur cover. So, this is a big one. So, so um, it could serve as a blanket. You know, okay, I regret buying this. Ang expensive pa naman niya. I got this from Australia when I visited um, Australia two years ago. And yeah, napapanood ko kasi sa YouTube. Parang ang ganda-ganda ng mga four cover nila when they are in a basket na naka-display sa living room. Parang ang cozy-cozy ng feel. And then, so I thought of you know having one for home only for me to realize na we are in a tropical country pala and so brun init niya and sa ibang country kasi di ba they they have winter and syempre gusto nila yung blanket na na ganyan and then ka display sa living room nila but yeah, uh, since we are in the Philippines and it's a tropical country, we never get winter and ang init. So definitely, um, we cannot use this kind of blanket. Ang heavy niya and when I went to Australia, nag overweight pa yung baggage ko. I think uh, ito yung malaking contributor doon. And I paid extra because of my overweight baggage. And then, <laughs> hindi ko naman siya ginamit ever. At I don't think I'm gonna use this. I really regret buying this one. So, if you're in a tropical country, although maganda tingnan yung mga fur blanket like this, in a basket displayed in a living room, yeah, do not buy this kind of stuff. Kasi, yeah, hindi mo magagamit. Alright, the number five item that I regret buying for our home is a bunch of throw pillow fiber cushions. I got this from, I think some I got from Andawe Foam and some I got from Landmark. So, ayun, ang dami kong biniling um, cushions ng, for throw pillows because um, I find yung mga throw pillow to be a quick way to really refresh the look of um, your home or a particular corner sa bahay. So, magpapalat ka lang ng throw pillow covers parang nababago ni space according to your theme or according to the look that um, you want for that particular season. Ito yung sinasabi kong cautions na made of fiber. So, yan. So, it has a mind of its own. Hindi mo siya um, hindi mo siya display according to your liking. So, hindi siya na chop, chop yet. Ganyan, hindi siya. Ayan, hindi siya sumusunod. So, it has a mind of its own. So, unlike if 
your costume is made of uh, of feather like this one so you can easily chop it yeah yeah and yung good quality throw pillows are choppable so ayan so i invested in this type of cautions i got some from most of them i got from h&m and meron din ako nakuha from battery barn and i think one or two lang yung i got from target so they are perfectly choppable at ang ganda niyang i-display sa uh, living room when you're Throw pillows are perfectly choppable. Unlike this one, na ayan. <laughs> ang kulit, ang kulit ang talaga. So this one. So ayan. So I threw away. Not naman pala threw away, but pinamigay ko na yung mga cautions ko na um, made of um, fiber. Daw. I retained lang yung mga ganito kong cautions. So yeah, this is um a bit of an investment. Yeah, 50 by 50, around 500 pesos yung cautions. But it's a good investment talaga than buying plenty of those fiber cloth or fiber linen na cautions. Sabi nila you can never have enough of uh, throw pillow cautions. But actually, when you find um, yung mga perfectly choppable throw pillows, um, yun, you can have enough because you finally found the perfect ones for for your i hope itong mga learnings ko that i shared with you you learn something from this so thank you again for watching and i'll see you again next time